Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Jan, and today I want to tell you about me and my friend Mary. Mary and me both use the Street Bees app, and I'll tell you a lot more about Mary and me in a minute, but first, let me tell you about Street Bees. Street Bees is the market research company that I did my fellowship project with. Uh, Street Bees collects real responses from consumers in real time using the Street Bees app, which you can see on the right. The Street Bees app asks consumers questions in a conversational style and encourages them to share rich content such as pictures or videos alongside their responses. Street Bees does market research for companies ranging from L'Oreal and Unilever. And the particular project I was on was commissioned by a large food manufacturer. The aim was to split the market into consumer groups based on their eating behavior. Now, traditionally, if you were to do this sort of research, you would invite a bunch of consumers in to join a panel and ask them what they've been eating over the course of the last week and generally how they think they behave when it comes to eating. So let's assume we invited Mary and me in for a panel. And when asked what we've been eating, Mary will tell you about all the snacking she's been doing. And based on that, you might classify her as a carefree eater. And I would exclusively tell you about the vegetables I've been cooking. Uh, and based on that, you might classify me as a healthy eater. So far, so good. That's quite informative. So how do Street Bees want to improve on this model? Well, the primary way in which the Street Bees platform can transform this research is by moving from a what did you eat last week question to a what are you eating right now question by asking consumers to share what they're eating while they're actually preparing the meal or eating it. So again, Mary and me have both come to demo day today. And later on, when all the talks are done and the canapes come out, we both get a push notification from Street Bees asking us to talk about what we're eating. Now, Mary will tell Street Bees that she's eating four canapes, while I have to reluctantly report, spoiler alert, that I'm eating <laughs> 10 canapes and that I'm having a bit of wine as well. So this doesn't quite match our expectations. I, as a healthy eater, should have probably eaten fewer canapes, whereas Mary, we would have expected to eat more. So what's going on here? Well, it turns out that this is actually pretty normal. What you think your eating habits are says almost nothing about your actual food choices. And I know that because I've been using the Street Bees real-time data to try and predict what people claim they actually eat. So if I were to randomly guess, I would achieve about this much performance. And using the Street Bees real-time data, we get about this much. So not a lot of predictive power. So can we actually improve on the way we segment customers in the food market? It turns out we can. If we visualize people's actual food choices in this dimensionality reduced space here, and then ask a machine learning algorithm to segment this data into customer groups, we get customer segments that are completely data derived and that tell us much more about how people actually behave when it comes to eating. And does this actually improve what we can say about people and how they eat? It does by quite a lot. When earlier we, achieved, we were achieving just about 23%, so not much better than chance, now we're achieving performance of up to 80% when we're trying to predict what people actually eat. To actually implement this into the current Street Bees workflow, where the data comes from the user and ends up in an interactive dashboard that gets delivered to the client, I built an API that can be queried by the Street Bees system and that returns informative plots and summary statistics about the, all the customer segments that we derive from the data. So just as an example, this is what that might look like. Uh, this is what the client would see, and they can see where the clusters fall. And interactively, they can dive deeper into one of these clusters, looking at, for example, the age distribution in that cluster, where they're having their breakfast, and what types of food they're actually eating for breakfast. Uh, so this work allows Street Bees to leverage their unique real-time data from their uh, massive user base in order to deliver next generation, completely data-driven market insight to their clients and hopefully will allow them to win more contracts like this food study. Although more importantly, it will allow, it will allow Street Bees clients to classify me as the terrible eater that I actually am. <laughs> Thank you.